Quince blossom in springtime is beautiful. Did you know that quince blossom can be eaten? Quince trees are multi-purpose plants. The fruit can be eaten, stewed or made into jams, jellies or a delicious paste known in Spanish as dulce de membrillo. We grow a few different quince varieties including the ornamental Chinese quince and the very delicious pineapple quince. I'm chopping up some pineapple quince to stew it. It's really easy to cook. All you do is chop it up, add water and cook it till it's soft. Here's the stewed pineapple quince. Unlike most quince varieties, it doesn't go pink when it's cooked, it stays golden. Most people like to add some sugar to quinces when they're cooked. I like to add a crumbled topping to make quince crumble. I was lucky enough to get some quinces from some very old quince trees. I don't know what variety they were, but they were not pineapple quinces. They cooked up to a beautiful pink colour and I made, first of all, quince jelly with them and then I made quince paste. One of the great things about cooking quinces is you don't have to waste anything. You can make quince jelly and quince paste without wasting any part of the fruit. So first of all, all you do is you cook your fruit till it's soft and if you want to make um, quince jelly, which is the first thing you do, you then strain the fruit through some muslin or cheesecloth and you actually leave it hanging for overnight. You leave the fruit hanging overnight in the muslin. I usually sort of tie it to the back of a chair or something with the with a bowl underneath it and you don't squish it you just let the juice drip into a bowl overnight and then in the morning what you're left with is this beautiful clear pink juice that you can add sugar to and make quince jelly and in the muslin you have this sort of um, still moist but dried out quince flesh and that's what you add more sugar to and make quince paste which is also called membrillo but when that becomes quince paste it's going to be mushed up and it becomes a little solid thing I'll show you what it looks like when it's quince paste When that's been turned into quince paste, it looks like this. Lovely, glistening, delicious food that you use a little bit of at a time. I washed and sterilized all the jars that I was going to use for the quince jelly and then I cut up the quinces and cooked them and put them into a bag of muslin or cheesecloth and I hung the bag overnight to let the quinces drip into a bowl. And all that juice I cooked it up and added sugar to it When it had gone to a jammy consistency, I bottled it and look at the colour of this. It's absolutely gorgeous. The most beautiful colour, quince jelly.
One of the great things about quince fruit is you don't have to waste anything. So after I'd made the quince jelly, I took the fruit pulp and made it into quince paste. Quince drinks include quince juice, quince leaf tea, quince liqueur, schnapps and you can make quince leaf tea quite easily. It's the month of June which means it's the first month of winter here where I live. And the quince trees have almost lost all their leaves but there's a few left and I'm going to pick some quince leaves to make quince leaf tea. tannin and pectin which are both said to have health benefits these are freshly picked quince leaves and I've also washed them just in case some insects have been walking over them with their dirty feet and to make this quince leaf tea I'm just putting some leaves into this well I don't have a teapot at the moment so this is a coffee pot, but this will just do the same job. So I've got some, there's the quince leaves. And along with the quince leaves, I'm just going to add a little bit of lemon verbena, which is a very nice fragrant herb and has a beautiful fragrance and flavor. So a bit of lemon verbena. And also for, for color, I'm going to add a little turmeric which is a teaspoon of turmeric, turmeric powder. And I'm gonna add some ginger for extra flavor and also because ginger is supposed to be very good for your digestive system. So a teaspoon of ginger, some ground black pepper, Um, can help you digest and I'm also going to add some lemon just a little bit of freshly cut lemon chopped up freshly picked lemon I should say so in goes the lemon and that's everything except I've got to add honey later but not until the tea is ready so Time to add boiling water. As with any tea, let that stand for a while. 
to let it brew and then strain it. And add some honey. This is going to be very refreshing and healthful. This tastes really nice. And I know it's doing me good. Quinsleaf tea, cheers. Good morning everybody it's liqueur making time and I'm just about to make some quince liqueur and you'll be able to see the makings of that here so I've got my quinces I've got the ones that got split in the rain I've got me little jars all clean and fresh plenty of vodka and some sugar gonna make my quince liqueur I've washed and chopped the quinces and put them in jars with the sugar and vodka. Hello in there. This is what you have to do to the, um, to the quince liqueur every couple of days. Shake it up. Hope that was fascinating. And after 14 days, you shake it once a week for a month. Before I filter the liqueur, I'm going to sterilise the bottles. I've got some water in the sink, pure clean water, and some sterilising sanitizer. Place the bottles in the sanitising liquid. and allow them to partly fill up with the liquid and give them a shake and also make sure the bottle top goes in the liquid this is a no rinse sanitizer so fortunately that's all the work I have to do.
to really concentrate while you're pouring it because you have to keep an eye on the level inside the bottle so you don't overfill and you also have to keep an eye on the level inside the funnel so you don't overfill that anyway one perfect pour that's done and all that remains is to seal it up we're getting down to the last dregs of the jar here so there's a lot of sediment at the bottom of the jar and it's going to take a lot longer to go through the butter muslin but that's okay you just have to be patient and we'll end up with a relatively clear liqueur because it's going through eight layers of butter muslin and there's quite a lot of sediment so it takes quite a while to get through so i've got a nice fresh piece of butter muslin a funnel this has got eight layers of butter muslin for better filtration all folded over each other and it's time now to filter the second lot of pineapple quince liqueur I like to sit the bottle in a little tray just in case there's any spillage and it gets caught in the little tray and you can reuse it, it doesn't get wasted. Done. And I've already labelled it and dated it. Cure glass. It's the closest thing I've got at the moment. I'll just show you the colour of the filtered liqueur. It's still a bit cloudy, but it's it's clearer than it was. It tastes gorgeous, but the flavours will develop over time. So keep this stored in a cool, dark place. And as the months go past, you'll find that the flavour develops and it becomes more and more delicious. This is the chopped up quince flesh left over from straining the quince liqueur. Some people just throw it out, but that seems like a waste to me. So I'm going to make quince paste with it. This quince flesh has been soaked for two months in vodka and sugar. So you don't need to add any more sugar to make the quince paste. What you need to do is cook this and I microwave it because I want to cook it without adding any more liquid. It's already got enough liquid in it. After I've microwaved it, I'm going to whiz it in the food processor and then put it in this tray here and dry it out in the oven. And then we'll have quince paste. There's nothing needed more to add to it.
mucilage extracted from quince seeds is used medicinally. It's used to treat sore throats, digestive problems and wounds. But don't eat the seeds. Even the seeds that you chop out of the quinces before you cook them can be used to make medicinal drink. So there's no wastage at all with quince fruit. When you crush up the seeds in boiling water, they exude this wonderful sort of sticky liquid. Uh, I'll show you the consistency of it. It's very viscous and this has got medicinal qualities. I've got a single layer of butter muslin and I'm straining the seeds from the liquid just through this single layer. It has no real flavour of its own, but it is very soothing to the throat. And it's also soothing to the skin. Quince wood is strong and durable. It's used to make knife handles and other things. Quince is a popular species for bonsai along with its relatives Chinese quince and Japanese flowering quince.